Hello and welcome to Soft IQ Technologies. In today's video, we'll be looking at how to install Engine X and set up a reverse proxy for Udo. Below is the agenda we are going to go through. First, we are going to set up a DNS record and redirect our subdomain to the IP. Then we are going to install Engine X and set up a reverse proxy. We are going to remove the default files for Engine X. Then we are going to create and edit the Engine X configuration file. Then we are going to create a symbolic link of the engine X configuration file. Then we are going to check the configuration and restart engine X. And then finally we are going to run Udo using the subdomain. So to create a DNS record, you can uh, log into your domain provider like cPanel and add a DNS record uh, of type uh, A record with your desired subdomain map to the cloud server IP. From our last video, we have our Udo running on a local uh, on a public IP which you can just have a look at so currently Udo is running using an IP but for this video what we want is to be able to access it using a subdomain like the Udo.softiq technologies so from here we are going to log into our cPanel Then from here, you can come here to your zone editor. Then you can create a, a record, a DNS record. So you say manage your domain. Then we're going to add a record. So the subdomain we're going to create is called uh, udo.softiq. And uh, we are going to map it to the IP of the cloud server. So once we add this uh, record, we can check uh, whether it has propagated. It takes some time to propagate, but uh, we can just check whether it has propagated. So from here, if you come and just put uh, the subdomain, and then you click on, so the URL here is a dnswatch.info, then you say resolve, so it has already propagated. So that is how to create a DNS record and to create a subdomain and map it to the cloud server IP. Okay, we can continue. So the next part is that we are going to install Nginx and set up a reverse proxy. So I'm just going to open my text file. Okay, so from here we're going to install uh, engine X, which uh, you can open your terminal. So once we install the engine X, so for the next part, so what happens with Nginx, uh, it goes and creates uh, some directories. So one called uh, sites enabled and another one called sites available. We can just have a look at this. So they're usually created in the file uh, etc, in the directory etc. So here and then we go to Nginx. So if we list here, it creates these two directories, sites available and the sites enabled. So what we want to do is uh, to remove some file called default. So if we were to change directory and enter sites uh, available, we can see here there is this uh, file called default. So we can remove these uh, two files by running these commands. And then we can remove this one also under sites available. Okay, we can move on. So next we need to create and edit the Nginx configuration file. So to do this, we can just be able to run the sudo command, sudo nano. So we are going to just run this. And we can copy these uh, files, these uh, commands, which will be available on the description. So 
so once you paste you can click on uh, control x and then y and then enter so if we were to open again that file so here under the server name that's why you put the subdomain which we created there on the domain so the udu.softiq which uh, forms the subdomain you'll be using for to access udu so next we need to create a symbolic link of the nginx configuration file from the sites available directory to the sites uh, enabled directory so for that we run this command So the reason why we are creating this symbolic link, so by linking the configuration file from uh, sites available to sites enabled, you enable the Nginx configuration for Udo, since Nginx reads configuration files from sites enabled. So it's necessary to make sure that uh, this uh, symbolic link has been created. And now if we were to go to that uh, file, Nginx sites enabled, and we list here we can see it has created this file called uh, udu.config okay we can continue so we can check the configuration and restart engine x so to check the configuration of uh, whether it's working okay we can uh, just run this command sudo engine x minus t so this tells us that the engine x configuration file syntax is okay and the test is successful so next we can restart the nginx okay we can also just find out whether nginx is uh, running okay you can just say status okay it's running okay so now if we go back to our browser and uh, try to run with the, the subdomain softiq okay so it has brought a 502 bad gateway We're going to restart also Udo. Okay, so Udo is now accessible via the subdomain udo.softiq technologies. You can still access it using the IP, but uh, now we can be able to mask the IP using the subdomain. So, of course, uh, in a real life scenario in production, this is uh, we need to have it under an SSL, a self signed certificate. So, right now it's uh, just running on the HTTP, which we'll cover in our next video. So thank you for taking the time to watch this video. We have been able to cover the installation of uh, Engine X and the setup of the reverse proxy server. So uh, thanks for taking the time to watch this video. We welcome any questions or suggestions. So feel free to email us at info at softiqtechnologies.co.ke and if you can subscribe and like our page, we will appreciate. Thank you.